Hello, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the drawing property pane that was introduced in version 2023 of Tecla Structures. I'm still getting used to this new feature, um, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the things that I've had to try to figure out and kind of work around uh, to get used to. Um, one example here is I'm going to put in a detail mark. And you can see here that uh, sometimes you'll put these in here if you've already cut the detail and you actually want to just uh, put another mark for a similar location for that detail. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually put in the uh, erection drawing that I moved that detail to just for reference. And so to do that, I could actually manually come in here and put in some text. So you'll come over here to the property pane and um, you know what you'll probably do instinctually at first is maybe you'll delete this out. And what that does is it gets rid of this uh, kind of extra container that was below the line. And so that kind of messes you up if you just kind of come in here and say, let's add some text and just put in um, you know, E7, for instance, first of all, you start typing and it doesn't do anything. So then you click in here. Oh, look at that. It actually uh, went right into that. Usually when I'm away from that, um, I can't like see how like I'm trying to single click in there, like as if I'm renaming a file or just trying to click in the field and uh, it doesn't get in there really easily. So what I found the secret magic trick, because there's no right click or anything and no easy way that I can see to intuitively just get in there. Um, you know, maybe unless I go over to values. Nope, doesn't do any better. So watch this, you double click on it and then you single click and that gets you in there. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then I just left and right arrow. So once you're in there and that you try to double click uh, again to try to select all the text to wipe it out so that we don't have to kind of, you know, backspace or anything like that. Um, you know, it doesn't work like standard windows. And so you're sitting there kind of trying to, you know, get frustrated and figure that out. But, um, you know, once you double click and then single click in there slowly to get in there, you'll finally get that and say E7 and you're like, okay, cool. That looks great, but uh, I need that to go to the next line. So then you try to drag that below the line and uh, then that happens and you modify and you're like, nope, that's not what I wanted. So you undo back a couple of times and you're like, all right, I'm now like over a minute in here on this and what's going on here. So one thing to do is if this is already down here, you can actually just hit add, you know, click on this and hit add text. And then what'll be great is it's already uh, going to put it in that container. Again, I got to kind of double click and then single click to get in there. And then, oh man, see, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is, I thought I had the trick where you double click and then you single click in there. Uh, there we go. E E7. Enter. Okay. I finally got it. Then I click on that and then I remove this here and I modify and voila, I've got that there. All right. So that's one way, but let me show you if you like, uh, I mean, I'm going to undo again. I'm going to double click on this. And let's say that I did what I did before. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to add something. Well, uh, it took me a second here, but um, you know, you can press the new container and that uh, adds that here on the bottom. And then what you can do is you can press the uh, add there text. And then if you, uh, you know, again, just click in there right away or double click and then single click, you can get in there pretty quick. E7, modify. And then I'm just going to select on that because I need to change the color to match what I had before. And then I'll just go ahead and say modify. And then there we go. I finally got that detail A on E7 set. All right, so let's do the next one here. I'm gonna to go to my document manager. Uh, it takes a little bit for that to open up, uh, even though I only got about four drawings in there, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna come in here and open up the three plate assembly drawing. And uh, I've got a customer here and what they wanna do is they wanna do running dimensions that are in inches instead of feet and inches. So my natural inclination is to double click on that. And then uh, when I do that, it uh, now does not open up the separate dialog box like it used to in previous versions. It opens up in the property pane. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna just switch the units to uh, inches decimal and uh, I'll modify just to see if that works. And yep, that looks pretty good. That actually works. So let me just go back in there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually come up to the settings that were already saved away before that I know that are being called out on these drawings. And that's gonna be my running dim settings. And so when I load those up here, um, you know, I see that there's a couple things like just fixed has maybe changed here compared to what was done by the uh, automatic dimensioning rules in the drawing. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this from automatic to inches. And then I'm just going to say save. And that uh, should update that based on the properties, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and uh, double click on the background of the drawing. And um, I'll go to view creation and I'll recreate the drawing. That's one way to do it. Or I could have just gone up here to dimensioning and said uh, recreate all dimensions. Um, let's just do it this way first to go ahead and totally recreate the drawing. And when I do that, I get, uh, this kind of stuff, uh, where now the, uh, dimensions are going into the member and completely opposite, and I can't get it to stop. 
So when I double click on this uh, and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, I'm like, hey, you know, what, what new property happened here? And it's maybe it's this negative positive direction thing. So I just say, uh, you know, check that, uncheck that. And uh, I'm not getting that to work, you know, especially when this is at uh, free, which should uh, free basically means the dimension should try to make sure that it's looking at the protection settings and um, avoid hitting other stuff. And, um, you know, I can't, uh, I'm trying to find out uh, where is the position button like it used to have in the old dialog box. And uh, so now I'm struggling as a kind of an older user, like, okay, how do I, what, what happened here? What did I do? I, all I did is I changed one little thing here uh, for the units and I didn't do anything about the positioning. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Right. And so then uh, my inclination is to probably like grab this and uh, just come back up here to the settings and I'll just go back to, um, you know, my running dim and I'll switch that back to feet and inches or automatic like it was. And then I'll just hit save at the top. And now this time I'll even do recreate all dimensions and look at that. It doesn't fix it. It uh, basically keeps it offset there. And now I had perfectly good drawing settings and now I cannot figure out uh, why they are broken here through the interface. So I'm going to uh, undo back and just get back, get myself back to you know how I was in the very beginning, and I'm going to open up uh, or I'm going to uh, open up the model folder real quick, and uh, now I need to come in here and I need to delete that out. So something is going on with the attribute file, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually close down my drawing and I'm going to reopen my model and then I'll come back and I'm going to try to do this a different way. Okay, so I reopen the model, reopen the drawing, and uh, I'm going to come up here to quick launch. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in dimension properties and uh, there we go dimension properties click on that and voila there is the old dialog box it looks beautiful so i'm going to come in here and go to the drop down i'm going to find my running uh dim uh, let's see right here those settings load that up let me just make sure yep that's the blue color one that's the one i was trying to modify and i'm just going to switch the units to inch and then i'll just go ahead and save as there close that down and i'm just going to hit recreate all dimensions and voila my dimensions stay where they're supposed to be. So there's something going on in the property pane that is causing um, basically an offset and an inverted direction there. Something is not getting saved in those attribute files when I do save as with the property pane. Um, you know, but just to double check, let me undo that. And uh, let's just double click here in the background and I'll go to view creation. I'll say recreate uh, the drawing, modify. Let's just make sure that uh, things are still good. And that actually looks really good there. I can see that the dimensions didn't move into a location that they're not supposed to be, and I'm all set. Now, I even tried to do this on some other dimensions with integrated dimensioning. This is actually using the new dimensioning rules, and um, I kept on changing it back and forth, and it continued to propagate and get worse. Like It's almost like it went farther and farther away, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just changed one thing for the customer, and all of the drawings or all the dimension continued to get worse as I tried to fix it. And uh, until uh, Dave Hinneman here uh, you know, with Tecla actually gave me a great suggestion to type this in the quick launch to get those old property dialog box open here. That's the only way I know to get that uh, open and get into there. I was actually um, just you know, in kind of panic mode and I actually was going in there and taking something from a previous version and I was just editing this with notepad and I was coming in there and I was uh, finding uh, this line here. I think it's line number 19 or whatever the uh, units type there it is right there and I was switching that to six from uh, one and I was editing the text file just to get this to work um, you know because I was actually working with a customer and they did not uh, have 2022 on their computer and so I was like hey how do I get in there and get to the old property so I can get this to work so you know just what would be really great is the there's really a lot of cool benefits and neat things especially with the graphics and things in these property panes um, there's a lot of really good bonuses to them but uh, while some of the kinks are being worked out and some of the properties are being added in here, it would be really great um, like you can with the view properties. Like watch this, if I open up the view properties, um, ooh, boy, see that's even weird functionality. When I double click, it opens up the dialog box, but then also the property pane. That's confusing to a user, but that's okay. Um, so now, um, you know, it's not very obvious up here. I wish the view properties button was up at the top. But uh, I have to scroll down and I can go to uh, view settings and that's how I can actually get in there to the old view properties dialog box. I wish I had something like that in all of these um, object or property panes. So when I click on individual entities, it can actually just uh, either down here at the bottom or at the top. Uh, if, you know, Tecla kind of wants to instigate people not going back to the old properties and just stay in the property panes as much as possible. It'd be great if I could actually just go down here, find the old properties dialog box, open that up just to quickly get in there and go back to the additional properties or something that I need to in case I need to make something work, um, just in case as we're transitioning to the new property panes and making sure all the settings and everything work.
So the last one that kind of threw me for a loop uh, here for a while is I would go to views and uh, let's say I would cut a section, right? And so I'm used to double clicking on this and it would actually open up the, um, you know, it opened up the view properties dialog box so I could load and apply those settings. And so now, um, you know, by default, it goes to the section mark properties here. So I'm like, all right, well, maybe I need to go over here to the view tab. I'm like, all right, cool. Here's the view properties. And so I can come in here and uh, I'll just load up some settings that I've got. So I'll load up section and uh, I think I've got everything now that uh, the way that I need. And it, in case if I need to, again, I could go to the view properties dialog box if I need to down here at the bottom, because not all the settings are uh, necessarily here in the property pane yet for, for view properties. And there's a lot of stuff in view property, so that kind of makes sense that not everything's here yet. All right, so then, uh, you know, I would come in here and I would apply this, but uh, it just was a little bit, uh, you know, took took me a second to get used to the fact that I had to kind of navigate over there to, to get to the properties and what I was trying to do. And then I'll put that in there. And uh, there we go. We've got that actually set. And it uh, it is using the view properties that I had saved away, but um, just had to kind of navigate over to that. So it just takes a little bit of, you know, just, uh, you know, kind of going slow, maybe reading the help and trying things a little bit and just kind of getting used to the, the behavior of how the drawing property pane works. Again, I'm pretty excited about where it can go. Um, it just would be great to sort of have a little bit more of an intuitive interface to kind of guide some of us existing users over to that new functionality.